thought I'd do a little um, comparison that I had with my two angles. Um, them over here and the one on the left is a metal one. Uh, the MT I think they are and that's the uh, Eclipse version. So what I want to do, I've got a um, battery pack which I picked up here the other day, still got the old AGM battery in it. I just gave it a charge. So what I'll do is I'll plug in both fridges and leave them for 24 hours and see how they go. So this is 13 years old, one of my first and original angles, a 40 litre. And this is the Eclipse version, which is their, their plastic versions. Uh, 38 litres, both with the same, see this hasn't got, well it's got a uh, digital readout but the battery's gone on it. But that's, um, let me see, that's sort of working there. And that's sort of set just after the one on refrigerator. Uh, that shows the sort of ambient temperature and how much is inside there. So it's about 23 degrees inside. That's running about 2 degrees. This one here has got a King's thermometer. Same thing, about 23 degrees, running at 2 degrees. These both have been on for a little while. Same sort of thing. That one's running probably just after, just after the one as well. I don't know whether you can get these thermometers anymore. I said this one's about 13 years old, the bag and everything else. Still running beautifully, no dramas at all with it. These were the original angle thermometers, the hard wires. Either you can't get them or they're out of stock with everything that it is these days. We've got one of these, which runs, which we've got from one of the pet shops, which run the fish tanks as well. And that uh, sits on there pretty well. It's just Velcroed in. But um, I mean, obviously, the main differences between the two is quite well. Be both both haven't got digital um, thermometers and no Bluetooth, no Wi-Fi or anything like that. They're fairly basic, um, but they run well, and that's what I like a bit of the old Kiss principle. So this one's a, a front view. I mean, that's got some drinks. What I've done is I put a bottle of water in the middle of them, which I run after 24. Um, you can see with the sort of condensers right, right up the top. Like I said, these are a metal cabinet, whereas the eclipses open up from the side. Same sort of thing. Roughly the same cabinet. I mean, I've got the thermometers. Sort of sitting down in there, same thing, same bottle of water, put it in the middle, a couple of beers in each one, and we'll see how we go. The only thing I've found, I've used this one as a freezer, and over 24 hours it's drawn about 51 amps. Um, I've used this one as a freezer as well. The only thing I'll find when you use this as a freezer, because it gets so cold, you get sort of like condensation between the cabinet and the actual cover. You tend to get a bit of water in through there, whereas the plastic one, you don't seem to get that. Um, same thing, it's a little bit of an insulated cover over it, but um, obviously, especially when it's hot and humid, you'll get lots of water between the metal cabinet and the cover, whereas you don't seem to get the same with this one when it's running on as a freezer. So the both is a fridge. I say that one's just cycle back on again. That's on at 1.9 degrees. This one's sitting at 1.9. So what we'll do, we'll cut back 
in a little while, I'll hook it all up. I'm gonna find my other amp meter. I'll plug in two amp meters. I'll leave them go for 24 hours. And we'll see what sort of amps they draw. I'm thinking they'll probably draw about the same. Um, this one's got the inbuilt, I suppose, transformer. Two, you can be run off 240 volt and 12. This is one of the newer ones. And they've taken away the 240 volt through there. Um, it only runs on 12. I don't know whether you sort of see it up the back through there, but it's actually got a 240 to 12 volt transformer, which you need to buy separate to them. I mean, that's it's just cycled on. You can probably just hear it cycling now. But um, yeah, I mean, there's not a lot of difference between. I'll put them sort of height wise. That's um, that's the 40 liter. And they say that one's a 38. So I say the insides are pretty well the same. You can see the little basket on the old angle or the metal cabinet angles are just a little bit taller. Um, they're just a little bit smaller. But essentially same, same. These ones retail, I think that one cost me about $1,100 with a cover uh, back in the day. This one here was $750 with a cover on a special uh, about six months ago. Uh, these retail now I think alone about $1,200 these retail for about $7.99 so I think the new ones obviously got a light this one doesn't have a light and it doesn't have the digital readout or the set temperature everything's on the knobs so you'll set them I say where you want Get this camera to zoom or focus, I should say. Usually, I find just after the one, this is about three, two, three degrees. Um, Pat it on four, which will give you about minus 15, and five will give you minus 18, minus 18 plus. Um, same with that one, always keep that one just after the one, it seems to give you about two degrees on it and I don't really sort of set it other than that and just sort of maintains it. Like I said just the, the old KISS principle keep it simple no Bluetooth, no Wi-Fi's nothing like that quick simple I say you can put one of those on there they're about ten dollars not a lot I think these things from Kings seem to be doing pretty well they're um, about nineteen dollars so they work well Alright guys, we'll see you in a little while, we'll plug it all in, and we'll go from there. Cheers all. Into 12 volt, let's so say, let's call it 10 a.m. That one started a cycle already, so the green is the Eclipse, 38 litre. That started. Um, sort of zero point one amp for the forty liter, the metal case. So metal case in blue, plastic case in green. So we'll see what they do. I said I'll see we'll get some cycling race the Eclipse um, I have had them on before I said that seems to sit on about 3.3 amps I know it's got an extra fan when it does so whether it draws a bit more amps um, than the older ones it doesn't cycle as long I'm not sort of 100% sure but I say we'll leave them on for a little while and, and sort of see what happens so the gauge on that is saying 12.8. So both plugged in the same battery, same covers, same ambient. So that's on 12.6. So that's on. Yeah. 12.6. Not drawing anything. So 
All right, we'll come back in a little while. Let me see how we go. So I've just waited around a little bit, so... Metal one's just started to cycle now, and that's... So we're just on three, it sort of drops down to about 2.9-ish. So that one's sort of sitting about... Hey guys, they're both of them um, cycling at the moment. So, there you go. That's the metal. And that's the eclipse. So. Not much in it. Oh, clips just turned off. This one's still going. As I said, it just seems to be, I don't know, both same sort of motors. Maybe um, the new ones draw a little bit more amps and cycle a little bit less, whereas these ones sort of maybe cycle a little bit more but draw a little bit less. But we'll wait, wait for a day and see what they come up with. Cheers guys. Just welcome back where it's 4 p.m. so they've been on for six hours now. Uh, so that one's it's 26 degrees inside. So that one's sitting on two. And let's have a look, see if the power will scroll through. You can see that, so it's five point 5.627, I think it was. Just let it scroll through again. So this is the angle 40. 5.627 amps in six hours. And that's the 38. And we're sitting on 1.7 degrees. And let's have a look. Roll through it. Wait for it. Three point six 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 amps. So that's nearly two amps left. In six guys, welcome back. Uh, it's twenty four hours. It's just after ten o'clock the following day, and. Let's have a look see. So first off, we'll have a look at the angle 40. Oh, it was just flashed up, but I missed it. And that's just running through the watts, 21.076. Oh, 21.076 for the angle 40. Well, let's have a look at this one. This is the Eclipse, the plastic version. And just wait till it cycles through. What we get? 13.386. Well, that's pretty interesting, really. I've just written them down. 21. That's nearly 8 amps. You know, that's a third difference. I would have thought it would have been a whole lot closer to what they are. That one's saying it's sitting on 1.3. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get the thermometer out and grab those water bottles shortly and we'll see what they're playing at. That one's saying it's sitting at 1.8. So if that's a gauge and then go by, but essentially, yeah, quite a bit of difference. I'll say 13 years old compared to probably six months old. Alright, so what I'll do, I'll grab the water out. This one first. It's sitting in there. Let's pull that one out. I might just put this on the ground shortly. It's 
rating 24, which is roughly what's saying there. I'll stick that in there. And we've got about one point. I'm going to say about, saying about one degree, thereabouts, 1.1, 1 1.2, 1. 1. or thereabouts. So that's out of the angle 40 bottle of water. I'll just dry that off and we'll get the other one out. Alright, so this is out of the Eclipse. Same thing, bottle of water in the middle of it all. Exactly the same, 1.1, 1 1.2. .1, Maybe a little bit less. I'd, um, I'm calling almost exactly even out of it. And the bowls of water, so. There you go. Well, I said I find that very interesting. Looking at that, 21 amps for the older angle. Same, same motors, same temperature. Um, angle 38, 13 amps, which is, I mean, it's quite significant eight amps if you're out camping. I mean, you've got to look at it. This is fairly controlled environments. Um, it's about 26 degrees ambient in the house hasn't changed much we got down to 23 overnight but there's sort of highs and lows on there it's 24 at the moment here got down to 23 so and the other thing you gotta look at they weren't open and closed like you would do normally around the place but still anyway that gives you a bit of an idea of what you can expect out of your fridges um, I was a little bit sceptical, I suppose, of these plastic ones, but I'll tell you what, um, I think they're pretty good value for, for what they are. If you get two of these, say if you can get them on special, say $1,400, $1,500 with a cover, one as a fridge, one as a freezer, they're, they'll run all day. Um, not a problem at all. I had this one on a freezer a couple of weeks ago for about two or three weeks and on average it was taking out um, a little bit warmer it was taking about 50 51 amps a day so that's I mean that's a big difference if you're talking 13 amps as a fridge and up to 50 as a freezer so anyway hope you enjoyed it guys thanks very much